الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على خاتم الأنبياء والمرسلين نبينا محمد وعلى آله وأصحابه وتابعين لهم بإحسان إلى يوم الدين All praises for Allah, the Lord of the worlds, and peace and blessings be upon the seal of the prophets and messengers, our Prophet Muhammad, and upon his family and companions and all those who follow them in righteousness until the day of recompense. You have learnt all the main Arabic letters, vowels and types. Hamza, Hamza al wasl and Alif Maqsoor, Lam Ta'arif and how to form questions. Da Marbota, silent letters and stopping rules. In this lesson you will learn all the long Alif forms, interrogative Hamza, different scripts and basic conversation. Inshallah. So far we have learnt the following forms of the long alif as in la, hadha, bab and ala. However there are two more forms of the long alif which we will look at now. Both of these long alifs only occur in connection with a hamza but they are read the same. We expect to see the hamza with a long alif as a. However, Sometimes it is written with one standing alif and another horizontal alif, pronounced as a, ah, as in al-akhirah. And sometimes when the alif is written with a hamza attached to a lam, to show there is an additional long alif, the hamza is written beside the alif instead of above. But this generally only occurs in the Quran. Najjaynakum min ala fir'aun. الدار الآخرة خير للذين يتقون يا آدم أنبئهم بأسمائهم لا تجعل مع الله إلها آخر هذه ناقة الله لكم آية بل هو قرآن مجيد the questioning Hamza and joining it with Hamza al Wasl. According to the reading rules which we have learnt, both the following sentences are pronounced the same. When we start on the Hamza al Wasl, we pronounce the Hamza, and when we continue, like with the inter interrogative Hamza, we make the Hamza al Wasl silent but pronounce the questioning Hamza as in Al-Kitabu Jadid and Al-Kitabu Jadid. In the Qur'an, there is a special reading rule which is applied to distinguish these cases. The questioning Hamza is lengthened six times the normal Fatha, three times longer than the long Alif. But for general Arabic purposes, it is preferable to use the interrogative particle Hal if the sentence begins with a Hamza al wasl as in Pause the recording to practice your reading. Ara'ayta sadiqak? Halil asha'u jahiz? Aqulta na'am? Hal bi imkani musa'idatak? Afahimtid dars? However, there are some differences between a and the particle hal, such as Hal not being used for negative questions. In those circumstances, the interrogative Hamza is always used. As in, Ala ta'alam? Qala lahum akhuhum nuhun ala tattaqoon? Non Arabic script. As there are some letters in foreign languages, like English, which are not represented in Arabic, a few new forms have emerged to represent some of those letters like the letter V and the letter P. They are only used in transliterating other languages and aren't used in any Arabic words, such as happy. Arabic fonts. The design industry is producing a huge variety of new fonts. These designs all say Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim as do these designs as well. Arabic scripts. Some letters take different forms in various scripts. Note the red letter 
in the basic format below and compare it with the Quranic script. These are some older handwritten styles. These examples are taken from an old Arabic grammar text. It is likely the writing was very compact due to the scarcity of paper at that time. Try reading this in a new font. Ahmed Lam Afham Hadihil Kalima Al Ustad Ayu Kalima Ahmed Kalima to Ma Ida Ahmed Ma Ma'ana Ma Ida Al Ustad Ma Ida Tun Taani Tawila Tun Lil Akel Ahmed Shukran Jazakallah Khaira Al Ustad Afwan وإياك. أحسنت. You have now completed the intensive Arabic reading course. All the best with your future Arabic endeavors. May Allah give you success in this life and the hereafter. Amin. Alhamdulillah who has given us the ability to complete the intensive Arabic reading course and we ask Allah to accept our work and make it beneficial for Arabic learners. Amin. Subhanak Allahumma wa bihamdik. أشهد أن لا إله إلا أنت أستغفرك وأتوب إليك